This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel. I wanted to give everybody a look at what will be the box motor. I'm building three of these motors this size. It's four foot square and the wheel is 39 and a half inches. As you can see, at least plenty of room for the coils. It's where the capacitors are going to sit. You can see in this graphic how the motor is going to be laid out. This is how the motor is going to work functionally. This right here is plywood, three-quarter plywood. I'm running the motor at 500 to 1,000 RPM. This doesn't need to be made out of anything heavy-duty like MDF. If you want to make it out of MDF, you could buy a sheet of four-foot by eight-foot sheet of MDF at one inch and cut these parts out. You could run it well above 1,000 RPM. But I wanted to build something that anybody could reproduce from their hardware store. So we got angle iron. I created these little blocks the bearing blocks, they're just going to be bolted to the angle iron and I'll, I'll set all that up before I route the board so everything will be mounted and the holes will be drilled before I route the board that way the spacing will, will be perfect just cut the board in half and then I used a simple piece of wood like this and then use that to mark it and I'll do the same thing with the router I build a mounting block that mounts to this and it'll route the board the same way some of you probably already seen that in another video there's 18 magnets that's from the alignment guide a book we produced last year and there'll be 18 magnets 2 inches by 1 inch one motor will have 144 pound pull in 52s and then the other one is using what is on currently on the cart motor which are magnets that make a ring for a PMG it's just instead of buying more magnets which are very expensive right now I use what I had so I wanted to give you guys a look because this is where we're going this is what will be the new box motor and if you look at some of the illustrations on Facebook and on the website this whole thing has been planned out down to the nut and bolt which you might have, if you've been following along was planning on doing that with the VMG the VMG was not strong enough to do what I want to do the cart motor is this is larger than the cart motor so we're increasing the torque that way when we gear it up We'll have some room. We're using energy creators concepts for a ironless generator to reduce the drag. I used an alternator and because the iron in the alternator, when you start drawing amperage on that, you turn that into electromagnet, it's just gonna it's a pulse motor. It's not on all the time. You're trying to use the momentum between the sequential firing of the pulse motor and the load and drag generated by the generator with the sequential firing of the motor and the inertia from the wheel and have a generator that's capable of supporting that and the ironless design generator is the way to do that the larger the wheel the more torque you get from that small burst of energy so the generator design is crucial to make this work so look at the diagrams there'll be a DVD release on this and there'll be a free release for everyone else with that in mind um, keep your eye out for these videos because I'm gonna be producing them I'll post some of them all of them that will make it on the DVD it'll be organized in a how-to every step will be covered so for now this is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel Signing out.